The Titanic is not just a ship. This year marks 25 years since the release of James Cameron's Titanic back in 1997. To be able to have 80 minutes of footage of the real Titanic back in 1986 when the superstructure was, was very much intact, I think it is incredibly um, moving. Dr. Robert Ballard discovered the Titanic on September 1st, 1985, and the world was captivated. That is why you're getting footage now in the 1986 dive, because there were several dives after that. If you go down to the wreck today, all that, you know, the, the officer's quarters, that's all really caved in. And But back then, the structure really was a lot more intact. You would still be able to see some of the paint on the actual hull. Also in the 80s, you could very clearly see a lot of the Titanic nameplate. It's almost like being able to hop into a time machine and be transported back in time. That is why, you know, we're still talking about it 111 years later. I will never let go, Jack. It's something that lives on. I'll never let go. It is so haunting to see that, and, and also a reminder of how vast the ocean is. I didn't realize, actually, until I saw the producer's notes today, that that wreckage was only discovered because the U.S. Navy was on a secret mission looking for two downed submarines from the 60s. So, in the mid-80s, they stumbled upon the Titanic.